Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of my series on my favorite live albums ever and today we are talking about Donna Summer live and more and much much more an amazing album and out of my 10, 12 favorite live albums. This definitely ranks very high. And uh, this was a really, really important time in Donna Summer's career. She had released before that um, Once Upon a Time, the double album, which is absolutely fantastic, which everyone adored and which was a very big hit. She had been a breakthrough star in Thank God It's Friday, the copy, if we can say, of Saturday Night uh, Fever and uh, with the song uh, Last Dance. And then comes out this live album where she was selling out arenas all over the world and people were going crazy over her music. And in France in particular, when Donna Summer came back to France in the mid 80s and, you know, to promote her, her albums like Cats Without Claws or The Wanderer, many times when she was um, introduced in television shows and television specials, the people who presented her would say, is that the real Donna Summer? Because they thought Donna Summer was more like a hologram or a type of music, but they couldn't imagine that it was a real live person. And that's how powerful and important her voice was in our generation. So the live album is comprised of four different parts. And because it was a double album, each side, you know, is one of those parts. Now, the album um, came out in August of 1978 and uh, the summer, the following summer came out Bad Girls. So this was a, an immense time of creativity for Donna Summer. I pulled out one of my Donna Summery gowns. It reminded me, I mean, she's worn a lot of these style of gowns and because she sang I'm a Rainbow, I thought it, it was the kind of dress that I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see it or if I'm in front of it. and. Um, so um, this album uh, in the summer of uh, 78, but it was recorded on June 17, which is my birthday. So when I found out it was recorded, when I saw that on the album, I was so excited as a kid. Now, the first part, she sings mainly uh, her most recent songs from the album Once Upon a Time. She starts with Once, Once Upon a Time, then Fairy, Day, Fairy Tale High, Faster and Faster to Nowhere, then she sings Spring Affair from uh, Four Seasons of Love. And if you've watched my video of my favorite album covers, this is one of them. And uh, I uh, adore uh, that album and I love Spring Affair. And then Rumor Has It and I Love You, uh, two super, super powerful, beautiful, beautiful, strong songs that I absolutely love. Then the second part, Lesser known Donna Summer, she explores jazz and um, with a, a song called um, Only One Man, which is a song that she wrote. And it's very, very jazzy and very funny and very cute. You know, there's only one man and that's you and you and you and you and you. And I thought it was such a cute song. She then sings I Remember Yesterday from the album of the same title and Loves, Un Loves Unkind also from that album another disco-y song so you know it's very very difficult to have uh, a live album where you have a lot of disco because disco is so produced and is so studio type of music and it has to be so perfect and the voices have to be so perfect that it's very hard to recapture on this particular album there is a massive orchestra, 35 pieces, 35 musicians. It is a huge orchestra with violins. And then on top of that, you have the backtrack. So it really sounds amazing. But what sounds the most amazing is Donna Summer's voice because live or studio, she sounds exactly the same. After that, she's going to sing Gershwin. So this was very new to her audience and to uh, her fans, where she sings The Man I Love. And then I Got It Bad and That Ain't Good, which I love. And uh, she pairs as a medley with uh, some uh, some of these days. You know, some of these days you're going to miss your 
and she says Donna. It's a really cute song and with her background vocals, it's just absolutely beautiful. She then sings The Way We Were, the Barbara Streisand hit, and um, absolutely beautifully. She then, as you know, did a um, duet with Barbara Streisand, which was No More Tears, Enough is Enough. So after that, she sings Mimi's song for uh, in tribute to her daughter. And there are some beautiful, beautiful pictures um, by Francesco Scavullo, who is an amazing photographer, but he beautifully captured Donna Summer, especially with that gray silver eyeshadow, which Donna Summer bought and discovered in Germany when she was living there, and she kept it for a huge, huge part of her life. It was a cream um, eye makeup. It was actually a body makeup, but she used it in, as an eyeshadow, and then she faded it out. Now, the third part is the bass where you have all of the hits, the current hits. And uh, by that time, Donna Summer had only made five albums. So um, she's, but she had so many, so many really huge worldwide hits. I mean, songs that you hear up to today, but that you heard everywhere. So try me, I know we can make it. I'd love to love you, babe. And which is a really hard, difficult song to sing live. I mean, it's just so emotional and it's so uh, much of introspection. It's really not an easy song to sing. And then I Feel Love, the masterpiece from uh, the album I Remember Yesterday, which is considered um, by Rolling Stones as one of the 100 best songs ever written and most influential in music. It's it's an absolute masterpiece. She finishes with the beautiful, beautiful song Last Dance by Paul Jabara. I met Paul Jabara in Paris. Uh, I was really, really happy to meet him. He was a very sweet and very funny man. And um, he adored Donna Summer. And like Barbara Streisand, he said they both sound like angels, but he was especially impressed by, um, by Donna Summer. I asked him, of course, about Donna, Diana and Barbara, and uh, he told me everything. So Paul Jabara won an Oscar for this song. So Last Dance is a Oscar winner. And the last side, of the uh, vinyl. Side four of this extraordinary double album is MacArthur Park and MacArthur Park Suite, including the songs Heaven Knows and One of a Kind, which are singles by themselves. And Heaven Knows was a huge hit. And MacArthur Park was Donna Summer, believe it or not, her first number one hit. Um, it, the others weren't. You'd think they should be, but they weren't. So, um, and it was a hit as a single. So it was a, the short version, which is fantastic. But the long version, this is a 17 minute plus song. And they weren't able to include it on the CD when it first came out. But, you know, it's a masterpiece, you know, just extraordinary. Uh, the Giorgio Moroder, Donna Summer team, was absolutely brilliant. Now, the song Heaven Knows is uh, featuring the group Brooklyn Dream, and uh, Joe Esposito is singing alongside with Donna Summer. They, their voices pair beautifully together, and the group Brook Brooklyn Dream uh, also included Bruce Sedano, who became Donna Summer's husband. So, it's a family affair. So I really hope you give Donna Summer's Live and More a listen because I think it is a beautiful album, an extraordinary tribute to Donna Summer's amazing talent, presence, beauty, and vocal genius. So I'll see you next Sunday for another one of my favorite live albums.